Hello everyone, this is Crotic giving you game two in the series between Yo IM's Ian versus Yo IM's Hui. Ian currently taking a two to nothing lead as we go into game two on Neo Planet S. Remember, this is best of five extended series, and Hui now has a lot of work to do in order to make this a series. So far, Ian with a two nothing lead. We'll see if he tries to do anything unorthodox. He could perhaps try and go for an earlier pool, a 10 pool, and then try and place pressure on Hui. He pretty much can start the mind games now if he wants to. Meanwhile, what is Hui going to be looking to do? As Hui now returning back with that probe, it will harvest some minerals and then make its way back up the ramp. Now, some players um, or some people have often asked me, why, why even um, bother mining that particular mineral patch back over there? The reason why is anytime you can mine a mineral patch that is not one of your main mineral patches, it means that um, you're actually mining at a higher efficiency. Uh, whether you travel back here or you tra or you mine from here first and then start mining from here, there is a slight variation, a slight difference and all these players are trying to do is get ahead in terms of the game. And it's just a game of seconds. If you can get ahead of your opponent by 5 seconds or 3 seconds, you then try to get ahead once more. You do it again, you do it again, you do it again, until you take enough of an advantage where you can push it into a victory. So far, all we're really seeing is the probe making its way down across the map as apparently my daughter Arya is really enjoying the Protoss side of things this time around. So far, Ian is also going into a spawning pool first and he has yet to place down his hatchery. This does come as a bit of a surprise to me as the hatchery will just come down now. And is Hui going to perhaps, yes, it looks like he is going to be trying to place down pylons and a photon cannon back here. This could potentially be... Um, one of those game-breaking plays, if it is not scouted in time, Ian is going to scout this out here in just a moment. There is that pylon, and there is a second pylon now. This hatchery will, will most likely be cancelled. You're going to see a photon cannon pushing the probe out of there, and that is a huge, huge play. There's another photon cannon there. This is potentially just absolutely, absolutely heartbreaking, as there is a pylon off to the north. This pylon will, in fact, power this photon cannon. And the Zerglings, are they going to be coming in time? This is rather dangerous. Why aren't the Zerglings going after the photon cannon for certain? Especially as this photon cannon will be rather well protected. There you go. There is another photon cannon warping right behind it. No more Zerglings will be able to get in there. And that is a critical, critical play. As this one photon cannon is now extra protected. Zergling trying to make its way in drones or zerglings are going to get taken down there is the pylon here the hatchery was not cancelled and hui has effectively warped in enough cannons to take the victory you can see that there is a lot of photon cannons here perhaps too many this one particular pylon does oh it is going to get cancelled in fact though um, i would say that that one pylon would have been a very very safe call to keep as the front door does have a, a, a rather lot to it. You can see that there is the pylon, the gateway, the forge, a second photon cannon as well, making sure that zerglings do not make their way in. All right, broodlings making their way out, trying to take down that photon cannon. It is not going to go down easily, as we are now going to see a couple of larvae getting shot to death. All right, what will be that follow-up play? We could see perhaps a gateway here. That would be a rather interesting, interesting sight to... Uh, actually start training units in your opponent's base so to speak this natural expansion will take quite some time to clear out there is a lot of photon cannons there a lot of damage to be had as this one particular probe is just wandering around 20 probes versus 15 drones and that th the placement here I, it really felt like hui just uh, had a very very calm level head ian purposely went for a spawning pool first just so that this type of play wouldn't happen except it it did happen and it did shut him down tremendously now the problem for ian is that he has invested a lot into zerglings you can see nine pairs of zerglings are now out on the field and they can't do anything he would really rather them be drones right now harvesting minerals and trying to keep the game a bit even but because ian um because ian 
force them as zerglings all he can really do is scout them out and hope that there's an opening somewhere on the map to do a bit of damage you can see that he's now going into a banelings nest and he's going to be hoping that banelings are going to be enough to shut down this front door what can Hui do to follow this up? He can place down more Photon Cannons, he can get Sentries, he can get Force Fields, and it will really come down to Force Fields whether or not it's going to be able to hold off this attack. Taking a look at the Army Supply, 17 versus 6. That is a huge difference as the Banelings are going to try and get ready to bust this door open. Is it enough? There is one Zealot in the group. Banelings now going to try to make their way in. Oh, this could be bad there. Taking down the Pylon. There's the Force Field. There's a second sentry right there as another photon cannon comes into play the gateway is about to be um, taken down but i believe that is going to be the gg even if the gateway falls you can see that one force field right here will protect that entrance even further one photon cannon um will would be exposed slightly but there is another photon cannon here you can see the rest of the zerglings would have died out and hui takes the game making it now two to one as we go into game four Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please stay tuned for game four. Excuse me, game three. Yeah, I was like, wait, my numbers are wrong.